Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use Power Over Ethernet to uh, power a Wisecam V2. In my case I'm going to be replacing some older kind of knockoff PoE cameras that I picked up. The first thing you want to make sure too is that all of your wiring that you're going to run these cameras off of, it has to be connected to a powered switch that's going to be able to run that electric current through these cables. So in my case I'm using kind of a higher grade at uh, Cisco SG220 I think. Um, but you can pick up, you know, a basic PoE switch on Amazon for under 50 bucks. And then you just got to make sure that all of those are connected. So the first thing you do is you connect one of these cables, right? Uh, I'm using Cat5E, uh, e, I think, for everything in my house. But now, normally, once you've connected this, you would just plug this into whatever camera union you're using, and you're ready to go. But obviously, with these Wise cams, we don't have, you know, any type of Cat5 jack or um, you know, way to connect this. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I picked up a few of these. These are some splitters, they run about 10 bucks a piece. And you just plug your ethernet cable in here and then it splits it into ethernet and uh, micro USB. So plug this in and you should see this, uh, this light up as soon as I plug it in here, dim the light. There you go, you can see that that lights up. So now I've got the electric cable running through this. And in my case, I'm just going to, I have a hole that's drilled in my ceiling outside that goes up into my attic. So I'll just push this through like that. I'm going to connect the camera down here and then I'll fill this with an epoxy or, or you know, whatever to, so that the bugs don't get up in there. So now that I've got this done, I can take my camera mount. Again, this is just something cheap I've got off of Amazon. Um, this will hold the camera under an awning so I don't have to worry about rain or any of the elements. So now I've got this. I'm going to run this cable right through here. Grab my camera, and hopefully this will be just loud enough for you to hear it. There it goes. You can hear it do that little click that it does when it turns on. And I'll feed this line right through like that, and I'm good to go. I can mount that up and run these cables up into my attic. It'll look a lot fancier when it's done, I promise.